Hey everybody, it's Gary Vaynerchuk from WineLibraryTV.com. Very, very honored to be on Get Rich Slowly, one of the great blogs on the internet, so I'm very humbled um, to be a part of uh, this process and this selection and this subject matter. Um, for many of you that don't know me, I'm a pretty big wine video blog on the internet that's done quite well, WineLibraryTV.com. Um, that, uh, you know, almost 80,000 visitors a day watching the show, uh, you know, been on Conan and Ellen and got a lot of fame, I guess, internet fame for um, talking about wine in a different way. I apologize for the crazy facial hair. I'm not shaving until the New York Jets lose. It's been working, so bear with me. But I put together a tremendous list for you, um, one that I'm going to actually drink along with you. And we'll, we'll save that for the end. But let me talk to you guys about my best value-driven wines of the year that are available in the marketplace. Um, and let's start with... Uh, with this white wine, um, the Teffen Brunner 2007 Pinot Bianco. Um, this wine rolls in at about 12 bucks. It's an Italian white wine, a tremendous alternative to Pinot Grigio. I think so many people out there drink Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blancs, and there's so many other things to be drank, and people are just not mixing it up enough. And so that's my big MO, guys. What I want you to leave with, not even the links that are gonna be provided for you for these wines, not even these specific wines, but with this global thought process. You have to understand something. The price point of a bottle of wine has no impact on the quality of that wine. And that's very important for people to understand that price does not equal quality. And in wine that freaks people out, there are enormous amounts of 10 to $12 wines that I will get into that rock and roll in at 20 to 30 bones. And there's plenty of wines that are 30 to 50 bones that stink up the house. So what you need to understand is you need to explore. How do you figure out what you like? By trying them. If you only drank apple juice every single day of your life, how in the heck do you know if you like orange juice or pineapple juice or plum juice or prune juice? How do you know? You don't. And the same thing with wine. You've got to mix it up and try different things. And that's what I'm going to be talking about a little bit today. Different wines, value driven. Started with the Pinot Bianco. Great white grape bridal that is totally under the radar. Does amazing in Italy, especially in the Alto Adige. If you leave with a little fun fact, Mott, Chris Mott, my cameraman, big shout out to him. Alto Adige. Right here. You got it? This is an amazingly interesting area in Italy, producing some of the best wines in the world. And again, that is one that you should definitely look out for. Now, right back to Italy. I'm doing two Italian whites. This is the Mastro from Campania. This is about a $13 wine, a 2007. This is an amazingly crisp, clean wine. Once again, both those wines are for your Pinot Grigio, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc white fans that are looking for something a little bit different. This is a perfect place to go. These are very outside the box. Campania, um, Alto Atage, these are Areas that are getting a lot more recognition and are starting to bring the thunder, my friends, and are bringing wines to the table that bring a lot more quality price ratio and that's what we're looking for. Now, let's jump into these reds. And we've got two Spanish wines, an Italian wine, and an Argentinian wine. So you'll notice, two Italians, Argentina, Spain, Spain, Argentina, Italy. So we're really focusing on these three sections because right now, these are places that are really bringing value. Um, you know, at this point in time, these are the wines that are really getting me excited. Um, so let's get into the first wine. This is the Arcavio. This is a Tempranillo, which is a very metal from Spain that's doing extremely well. This wine rolls in about eight to ten dollars. Arcavio consistently um, a wine that brings thunder, always getting ninety type point scores from the critics, even though you should never live and breathe by ratings, even when I score them. Wine from the Castilla area, grapefruit, very complex, very rich, and perfect pizza wine. Wednesday, Thursday night, just crushes. Great blackberries on the back end of this wine, good little tobacco on the hint, on the, on the finish, nice length, just great Tuesday, Wednesday night pizza wine, highly recommend. Now, a little bit more fruit forward, a little bit bigger, a little more oomph is the Este, um, which is a really small producer, I'm a very big fan of this from the Almazora uh, winery. Uh, this Este is a Vino de Mesa. Uh, this wine is extremely lucrative in the palate. Very silky. Reminds me of what got people excited about Shiraz three to five years ago. This is a 90 point uh, Josh Reynolds wine doing extremely well rolls in at $10. Um, again, has more oomph and a little bit more new world love to it. So if you're a fan of Shiraz, um, Barossa Shiraz, or if you're a fan of California Cabs, I can see a lot of you wrapping your head around this wine. Great fruit, great length, a little bit more tannins than the Arcavio, but still, nonetheless, a powerhouse red wine that you need to look at. Now, this is a $12 wine that I love. 
Malbec has hit the scene hard. A lot of you are starting to drink them. This specific producer is a must have. Festivo um, 2004 from Mendoza, Malbec. This comes with very floral components that I think are just spectacular. Lilac in the mid palette. Then you get the blackberry and the black currant. And then you get beautiful strawberries on the finish. A very, very fascinating red wine that comes across like a $25 Bordeaux more than anything else. Great with turkeys and hams and you know birds, pigeon, hen, just poultry kind of play. Maybe you want to stay away from steak, but it just explodes on the palate. Great length, and for 12 bones, go show me a $20 wine from Bordeaux or from California that rivals this. They're far and few between, and the Festivo deserves a lot of attention, and if you can find it, you should definitely seek it out. And then finally, Aglianico. Um, this is a area of the world that I'm just completely obsessed with. Uh, Aglianico, um, coming from Villa Cafada, this is a tremendous producer, rustic. You get a little rusty nail action, black currant, old school Italian, but for $15, just crushes that crappy Rufino and all that other Italian bologna that so many of you guys are drinking. If you've not expanded your palate into Aglianico, it is one of the great varietals out there. You should absolutely seek this out. 2004 is a very classic vintage for it. It's got a little age to it, 15 to 30 minutes breathing, let it decant for an hour would be ideal, and just goes tremendous with your classic pasta, veal parmesan kind of dishes, a beautiful wine. And then finally, let's get into this. We'll do a little tasting together. Um, if you want to see me taste wine, you can definitely check that out on Wine Library TV. Uh, the Bodeja Poesia. This is a Tarantis. And I'm leading with this because I really want you to know about Tarantis. Tarantis is the white grape explosion revolution in Argentina right now, rolling in between $8 and $12 in the American market and taking over Pinot Grigio and New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc fans by storm. What's great about it is its nose, so floral, smells like Febreze meets honeysuckle meets melon, just that classic, classic, muscat-like. You almost think you're getting a dessert wine when you smell it, but on the mouthfeel, that gorgeous high acid, that we all look for in white wine that pairs so well with food, just rumbles through, and this wine rolls in at $10, and you're paying 20 bucks for crappy ass Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio. Please, stop, explore palettes. You want a trick? When you go out and find an eight to $12 value wine this holiday season, and you're looking to make a smart decision in this economy, try wines you've never had before. The exploring, the journey, that's the game and then share it with somebody you love because that's what wine's all about. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a very nice time stopping by and guest video blogging and I just want to wish all of you a very happy holiday. Please check me out on GaryVaynerchuk.com which is where my business stuff goes down and, uh, and WineLibraryTV.com and uh, please try new wines. That is the entire game. And boy, this wine's good. <laughs>